evening my dear youtube viewers today we are going to continue the participatory approach by this today we are going to wind it up okay community participation is very important to understand the real participatory technique because it ensures the incorporation of indigenous knowledge that is age old knowledge that is traditional based and expertise at the time of implementation of developmental plans the participatory approach has been spelt out to imply the participatory field appraisal there are two rra and pra rra stands for rapid rural appraisal whereas pra stands for participatory rural appraisal the rra is meant for for the collection of data and analyzing within a short span it can be defined as a systematic process of investigation to acquire the new information in order to draw and validate inferences hypothesis observations and conclusions too in a limited period of time this method vary from situation to situation and also determined by the local conditions local problems and objectives at an end at an one hand a methodology for agricultural development that is rra was developed for the sake of quick oriented results with the objectives those are mentioned the given below appraising agriculture and other needs of rural community prioritizing areas of research tailored to such needs assessing feasibility of developmental needs and action plans implementing action plans monitoring and evaluating them second pra in this the researcher is interacting with villages or village community to and for understanding them and learning from them it also involves the principles communication and other participatory methodology it also emphasizes on both participatory and rapid more on data collection which is useful to compare to the conventional survey method in this sense the participatory approach raises both professional and personal challenges that goes beyond the issues of authorship and production of knowledge once again we will rebrush the subject matter the community participation is very important to understand the the real participatory technique because it ensures the incorporation of indigenous knowledge that is age old or the traditional knowledge and expertise at the time of implementation of developmental plans the participatory approach has been spelt out to imply the participatory field appraisal example rra and pra rra stands for rapid rural appraisal whereas pra stands for participatory rural appraisal the rra is the collection of data and analyzing within a short span it can be defined as a systematic process of investigation in order to acquire a new information to draw and validate the inferences such as hypothesis observation and conclusions in a limited period of time this method is vary from situation to situation and also determined by the local conditions local problems and objectives at an hand a methodology for agricultural development that is rra was developed for the quick oriented results with objectives such as the following way appraisal appraising the agriculture and other needs of rural community prioritizing areas of research tailored to such needs assessing feasibility of developmental needs and action plans 
implementing action plans monitoring and evaluating them second pra in this researcher is interacting with villagers or community for understanding them and learning from them it also involves the principles communication and other participatory method it emphasizes on both participatory and rapid form more on data collection which is useful to compare to the conventional survey method in this sense the participatory approach is raise both professional and personal challenges that goes beyond the issues of authorship and production of knowledge by this today's lecture is completed moreover the abstract form of research methodology or before the concrete form of research methodology how the earlier people used the research methodology we completed later we will discuss the research methodology and research technique systematically one after another and also before we are entering into the practical or action oriented research methodology there was a bridge between the earlier and the action oriented research methodology what is that that is the important areas for the research those are data concepts theories so we should have the minimum basic knowledge before we are entering into the practical knowledge or action oriented research program okay this is just the introduction for the next class just i told you so tomorrow we will start the subject matter the bridge related information that is the data theory concepts okay this is bindu taking leave from the youtube platform please kindly go through and do subscribe okay good night